Hey guys and welcome to my next video. In this video I will be showing you how to organize and use all the files on your computer. Um, the basics are a simple home folder, a home folder. Now every file that you have as a user on this computer will be in this home folder. Um, it's basically the root of your system, of your files, personal files. So how do I get to this home folder? Well it's under places and there it is, the first option is called the home folder if you go ahead and click on that, you open a window now this window will have basically a few folders here and there and this is going to be the video I'm recording right now actually you see how it can, it's growing in size anyway, here is where we set all our files we have videos in here we have documents in here, downloads in here, music in here, and so on and so forth uh, it's simple as dragging and dropping files here and there, setting it to download into one of these areas, um, saving into one of these areas. And I will show you how to save actually. But for the first thing, let's go ahead and uh, understand the idea of sharing folders. Over a network, you're able to share with other computers in your house. How does this work? Basically, you right click on any of these folders, I'm going to do public, and then go into sharing options and then just tick this little square here and it'll sh for you if you haven't done this before a little dialog will come up asking you to install a certain service just agree on it and install the service and that'll help you uh, share with Windows op operating systems now from here you can share the name a share name for the folder uh, comments on the folder of anything it might be and allow others to create and delete or guest access for people without accounts. These you can take on and off if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off for now and cancel. Now, the next part I want to show you is templates. Templates are basically templates. I mean, we all have heard of what a template is. I have one already ready in this area here. Now, what is a template? Basically, you can create any default file in here and you can access it by right clicking and doing create document and it'll be right here in this essay template I'll go ahead and erase this and show you from scratch how you can make one now right now if you right click and you go to create you see that there are no templates installed so let's go ahead and install one go into office go into your word processor uh, you can do this with any template any file at all I'm just gonna show you how to do a essay template let's go ahead and put my name teacher name date class and then go ahead and center 16 point title of course everything I'm doing at the moment is um, just setting up a f MLA format essay this is how it should look in MLA format then we can do paragraph double spaced and there you go now all we have to do now is just save go into our user now this user right here will actually be your name right now I've named my user user just for simplicity sake but for you it'll be Chris or Bob or Janet or Michelle etc whatever your name is and then now we go into our templates we save this as essay template save and now we can just exit here and there it is again that same essay template that I had before now again when I cl right click and I go into create documents we have that template right here click on that name it to anything you would like and there you go and as we open it we shouldn't be surprised to see our templates at work there's our double space our center title and so on and so forth it saves every single detail that you put <coughs> and that's it I'm going to go delete that that's what the templates do you can do anything from videos images documents pictures anything in here will show up in the right click and you can basically make a shortcut to your used your most used uh, I guess formats that's basically it for your home folder this is basically the root of it here's your desktop documents downloads music videos templates public and pictures next we have this area here this is the places area 
Uh, what it does is it simply gives you shortcuts to different parts of your computer. Of course, there's a desktop again. The file system is the very, very, very root of your computer. This is the very back of the computer where all the drivers, all the software, and everything there resides. Now, don't really touch anything in here because it can potentially ruin your computer. You have to be a root user or administrator to actually touch or modify anything. So I wouldn't recommend going in here as a root and accidentally deleting something and then messing up your computer. Though I will point out that there is one very useful folder in this area, and that's called the TMP, or Temporary fol Folder. In here, if we look at any YouTube videos, they will be saved right in this area. Now, it will be saved as a flash, and it will have a gibberish name, but you will see a preview image of that video. And it doesn't have to be YouTube, it can be any video online. It will be saved right here in this folder. You basically just copy it and paste it into your videos, and you can save online videos just as simple as that. And that's how that works. Other things uh, you shouldn't really touch. Here's your home folder. And here we have different users. I'm right there right now with this icon. That's my other permanent user. This is just the user for these tutorials. And that's it. These symbolize different sort of file systems that I have on my computer. I have many of them. I don't have just Ubuntu. I have a bunch of them. And that's what it sees. This is different Linux. This is a storage area for my, on my computer. Next down here is the bookmarks. Um, you have documents, music, pictures, videos, and downloads. Now these folders here will be the same things you will see right here. These five here are the same ones here. And basically you just drag a file, drop it in here, and you have a shortcut right there for you. The computer can be ac only accessed through the places. The computer is almost like the computer you would have, or my computer, in Windows, where it lists all the drives and CD drives, USB drives, etc. that are connected to your computer at the moment. It's for simplicity's sake, I don't really use this as much. All these icons, if I was to put a CD in, it would show on a desktop, and I really don't have to go into this folder. Everything is already thought out. But for those that are used to Windows, this computer works the exact same way. Of course, there are my systems again, my partitions that I have on my computer. Here's the network sharing. You can connect to a server. Searching for files is extremely fast. All you do, put in file name. I've already given this... Um, example but the fstab is a file on my computer and if I search it it comes out really fast of course you can do everything from my anything this is my Chris home folder it's looking inside for anything else that might be with the name and so on that's basically it and there we have the uh, recent documents which gives us a list of things that we've looked through and that's it we can clear it and clear thank you for watching and I have just started a Twitter channel if you would be kind enough to join me I will give important information on videos that I've posted or anything interesting about the Ubuntu community thank you for watching and I'll be back with the next episode bye